and welcome to another Quitro. It is I, your host as always, Tristan J. And today we're going to be playing DMC Devil May Cry, the new uh, reboot, I guess, the franchise of Capcom's classic Devil May Cry series, but it's now being under Ninja Theory, who also did Heavenly Rain and Enslaved was their last game. And uh, they, they both had their problems uh, in terms of combat, actually, which is very odd because the combat in this is very good. Um, but the thing that was key in those other games was, um, story. But anyway, let's just get to a couple things before I show you the combat. So, there is an item store like the other one. You can get all your crap in there. But the cool thing about this game is the upgrades. Now, you can go to abilities here, and you can do all these things, uh, you know, different evades, stuff like that. And you accrue these points when you kill demons. But the cool thing is here, I can take off the points that I accumulate, and they go into my reservoir to spec again. So like a lot of games I've been doing where you know you pay some money and you spec your character, this one it's just freely optional. It's like maybe I want to use the Arbiter more or maybe I want to use the Scythe more. Uh, you know, it, it's very customizable to whatever style you want to play with, I suppose. And I really enjoy that. Um, but for the game itself, I really enjoyed it. I thought the combat was really good. Um, I thought the music was awesome. The story was actually not as campy as I thought it'd be, a little bit more serious, but still very good, still very action-y. Um, the characters, I just empathize more with Dante now that he had some kind of, you know, feeling, I suppose is the word to say. But this next level here, I'm going to play and basically show you the combat, because that's what works in the game. Uh, there is platforming and stuff like that, and secrets and all that good stuff in the other games, but. I'm just going to shut up now and let you look at the combat. Dante, son of Sparta. We don't normally let the feral rats in here, but I've been hearing so much about you. I'm dying to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Come on! 
idea who you're dealing with, do you? I'm dying to find out. Let's change things around a little. I have created this gauntlet run especially for you, Dante. I'm not here to play your games. Oh? Well, this is my club, and you play by my rules. Welcome to the Devil Hell Challenge! It's quite simple, Dante. Survive and you get an audience with yours truly. Which basically means I get to gouge your brains out myself. Fail, and both you and that little bitch of yours die. So they say you have the power of heaven and hell within you. Let's test them out, shall we? So that was the combat, what do you think? Uh, yes, it wasn't my grandiose style to show off the combat style, and it's complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it with switching the buttons, and because like the scheme and the mapping is kind of complicated, but it, it get you get used to it. Uh, you can make it as cool as you want to, or as simple as you want to. It, like again, like the upgrading and stuff, it's what you want to make it. So I want to give this game a four to five. It struck me as an awesome series uh, reboot. I think this may be close in line with Devil May Cry 3. I definitely think the story is a little bit better and like more versed in the real world. It's very stylized. There's a couple little hitches here and there and it didn't pull me in fully, but I did enjoy it and you should check it out too. And my written review and everything else on my channel. Boom, 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 boom,